At a basic, nematodes have worm-like bodies that are bilaterally symmetrical, they contain tissues and organs, possess a gut with a subterminal -ter anus, a nervous system, no circulatory system, sexual reproduction, they feed on just about everything and live just about everywhere. Nematoda is one of the most diverse phylums and it contains millions of species. As stated, they live just about everywhere and eat just about anything. Most species are parasitic and infect everything from pigs to humans to roses and to everything in between. Their bodies have an incredibly high pressure, up to two pounds per square inch. To contain this, they have a strong membrane made up of nine layers. Even though this membrane is so strong, it still is permeable to water and gases, allowing them to respirate through the membrane and exchange gases. Nematodes eat with their mouth, using their three lips and pharynx to force food into their intestines. Since the body pressure is so high, when they defecate, waste can shoot as high as two feet in the air. Nematodes reproduce sexually and are gonochoristic meaning each one is a distinct sex. Their body is covered in reproductive organs, and to reproduce, the male introduces sperm to the female vagina to fertilize her eggs. The female then lays her eggs, laying up to 200,000 a day and 27 million in her lifetime. This shows main features of an R strategist. When the eggs hatch, sexual maturity, which is achieved in four months of growth. Nematodes react to stimuli similar to worms. Their bodies are covered in sensory nerves that are hair-like structures similar to a nipple, and their central nervous system leads to a small brain-like ring of three central nerves near the head. Like most parasites, if removed from their host, they will most likely die due to malnourishment. This disgusting picture illustrates the repulsiveness of nematodes. Nematodes are a pest to humans, causing many parasitic diseases. These diseases often involve grotesque infestations of worms in human organs and all over the body. They often cause death if not treated. Nematodes also plague livestock as well as crops like corn, affecting our food supply. Information on the phylum nematodus evolutionary history is lacking for a handful of reasons. The most prominent reason that separates the expansive amount of knowledge of other phylums from that of nematodus is the lack of a fossil record. There is no fossil record because nematodes have no skeletal structure to mineralize over time. Only a handful of DNA strands have been synthesized and studied. The scientists study this using the elegance system. This field will continue to grow as technology becomes more advanced, but for the time being, there is not much of an evolutionary history or record of adaptions of the nematodus phylum. In conclusion, while not as famous as phylums like Arthropoda, nematodes are one of the most diverse and possibly the most impactful, especially in developing countries, on the human population. They affect humans in more ways than most phylums and also boast incredible feats like maintaining pressure of two pounds per square inch inside of a tiny worm. Nematodes are an amazing example of the diversity of life on Earth. <laughs>